are worried about the possibility of yeah. super intelligence. Um, there was a recent book that came out. It's called If Anyone Builds It, Everyone Dies. Yeah, yeah. Right? I haven't By, read that yet, but it's been on my list. I mean, I haven't read it because I don't read good, but... Um, <laughs> I, I watched uh, I watched the author Eliza Yudkowsky you on a bunch okay. of podcasts. You just, like, read a few pages at a time, and then you're like, I love this book, and then yeah. you kind of don't come back. Yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll read it. We'll have a conversation about it. You won't chat GPT a summary. No, of it. no. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I, I derailed you a little. Um, he presents a really interesting argument about how you know AI is modern AI is a black box. We don't really know inside of this billions of parameters what it's doing the embeddings of words are one thing which tell us the meaning right but how it's changing these these meanings inside of all of the mathematical machinery is something that is beyond even the people who design it because ai by definition what you're doing is not explicitly specifying the mathematical function yeah. but giving it a way to find that mathematical function Right. There's some specific function you started off with a random one and then along its training it tunes the parameters to find that math that magic mathematical function but at the end of the day we don't really know what this mathematical function is doing mm -hmm. right and he there's been there's been like a lot of papers now about how agentic ai specifically not just large language models large language models are just input output mm -hmm. but now imagine taking one of these large language models and giving it the ability to make decisions and carry out those decisions 